Hello everyone, I'm Simon and I'm a PhD in Geochemistry at the University of Hamburg. And I'm Cyan and I'm doing a PhD in Astrobiology at Bangor University. And we're both interested in life on other planets. In order to know what we're looking for in our search for life, we first must understand life on Earth. Our planet looked visibly different when life began to how it does now, and it gave off many different readings and biosignatures to the planet today. So while everyone is out here looking for aliens, maybe we should start with finding out how life began. In the vastness of the universe, we live in the corner of a spiral galaxy in a system orbiting a little yellow star. While this is what our solar system looks like today, if we go about 4 billion years ago back in time, the planet looked very different. A lone rock floating in space, made up largely of silicate, iron and magnesium. This rock is covered in liquid water, surrounded by a thin atmosphere made up mainly of carbon dioxide and no oxygen. This atmosphere is held in place by the magnetic fields created by a molten metal core. Yet life sprang on this little chunk of rock, and it sat there for thousands of years alone in the sky, until one day it got hit by a flying space rock, and pieces of the surface, full of life-giving molecules, flew to a neighboring planet called Earth. It smashed into the surface, spreading these organic molecules across the planet's surface and oceans. Some scientists theorize that these molecules might have found their way into a volcanic landscape. There are many theories about where and how life came to be on Earth. The thing with life is it needs an energy source to create organic molecules we are made of. It is not a chemical reaction that happens by itself in nature because it needs a lot of energy to happen. A source of spontaneous energy for such a reaction could be a lightning strike, for example, or a meteorite impact. Or life could have come over from another planet on the meteorite itself because the fact is we do find organic molecules on meteorites like the one the ESA Rosetta mission visited. Scientists in Australia and California have recently proposed a new outlook on how life began on our planet Earth. They think life could have originated in a land-based hot spring environment, such as Yellowstone. In Yellowstone, there are hundreds of hot spring pools that all have different kinds of dissolved elements in them, different acidities, and different temperatures, all depending on what the pool spring brought up to the surface. All these different pools can be seen as a little innovation pools for life to experiment in and discover what the perfect conditions are for life to form. There is heat and chemical energy and enough different compounds to form complex molecules. When you do the math, a hot spring environment of 100 pools can produce a million or more combinations of conditions a year. FYI, Yellowstone has over 500 hot springs. Important in this theory is that some basic organic molecules collect in these pools. These organic molecules can form lipid membranes, which are flat sheets of organic molecules. When a hot spring pool dries out because the spring does not erupt, the membranes will form films on the bottom. The membranes will crack open in this dry environment, and between these membranes, simple organic molecules can join to form longer organic molecules called polymers, using the dried lipids as a reaction surface and as protection against desiccation. When the pool fills again, these membranes peel off in bits and can encapsulate these polymers. When the cycle repeats and the water level drops, these small membrane capsules can group together in a gel. This is a sort of intermediate stage between wet and dry. In this stage, the capsule membranes will group together and reactions between themselves can take place. When the pool fills again, these capsulated membranes or protocells can peel off. The protocells that survive these cycles can spread themselves to other pools where there are streams, or maybe even through the wind. Through trial and error, protocells can develop, so to say, complex machinery that eventually leads them to being able to divide into other cells and become microbes. But at the start of this story, life sprung up on Mars. Actually, on the early Martian surface, there were also hot springs. So if life on Earth could have started around volcanoes, it also could have started this way on Mars, with complex biomolecules forming by lightning strikes, or even another meteor from... Outer space! Which poses the question, are we aliens? And will we ever find our home planet?
happy universe. A vast and empty place, floating in the solar system, a tiny rock in space, a planet called Earth, with life quite absurd. From the largest swimming well to the tiny hummingbird, where did this all begin? Can we find our origin? Hotly debated, a discussion unsaturated. Oh, emotions, I don't know. But we could be if we came from the hot springs down below. Down below. Ooh. Down below. In an acidic pool, temperatures not cool. Using heating compounds as energetic fuel, drying and cracking using lipids for attraction, all come together for a chemical reaction. Experimenting away, protocells drifting on the wind sway. Then we evolve to the way that we are today. Are we Martians? I don't know. But we could be if we came from the hot springs down below. Down below. Down below. Yeah.